David Barnson joining us this morning. Then, uh, David, the market doesn't seem to care about Harris and her policies. It's rallying despite her lead in the polls. What say you on this? You know, Stuart, I've talked about this a few times. It really is important people realize that the market is not going to care in August, September. It's too close of an election. We're not going to know until November. And the Senate matters. I really believe the Republicans have a good chance to take the majority in the Senate. They have to win that Montana race. That's the best chance for them to get a majority. But it's a, let's say that uh, Vice President Harris does become the next president. None of these policies she's talking about are ever going to be law. Markets have to respond to what will be happening legislatively. So the divided government scenario that we've had most of my adult life, markets don't mind that as much. Would you say that the market at this moment is more motivated by interest rate cuts at the Fed than by the electional politics? Um, no, I don't think that either. No, I, I think markets so are motivated by earnings, my friend. I don't think that the Fed cutting either quarter point or half point in September matters at all. When the markets are telling you they're going to cut by 100 basis points by the end of the year, 200 basis points by next year, markets are primarily driven by the fact that there's not a lot of other options. U.S. equities look most attractive. There's been good double-digit earnings growth. David, thank you very much for being with us on an important day. Always appreciate it, David. Thank you very much.